mini friends, it's Heather from my mini front porch. And I'm going to do my best to briefly explain how I make fitting doors on my dollhouse cabinet. Because I think that's the part that everybody wants to know. I'm going to skip cabinet building, at least for today. Hopefully not get too confused as I <laughs> to show you what I'm doing. These are the cabinets. I've been building the drawers slide in and out and the doors closed. Here's my cabinet. Working in millimeters and here's my door. And I'm just going to quickly um, ungroup all of the pieces and explain what they are. Hopefully that will be helpful to someone who's trying to do this. So basically, the door, one side is a cylinder. The rest of the door, um, I want to say cube, it's not a cube. Anyway, it's a cube that I flattened. And it's positioned right here in the middle of this cylinder. And then you can see I use these um, on the top. And also on the bottom here, so those are the little knobs that the door is going to pivot on. And then I was going for shaker style, so there's a hole here in the front, that, um, a little indentation. So you want to build your door one side with the cylinder, and you're going to put these little knobs on either end. And my hole here in the cabinet, I generally will make the door about a millimeter, maybe a half a millimeter shorter and a millimeter less wide. You'll have to maybe play around with it and see what suits your machine. If it's a very, very tight fit, then the door is harder to open and close. But if the fit is just right, then they don't flop open either. Group this. And I like to make a copy so that I don't lose the door. Here's my door, and this is the piece I'm going to use to make the divot that has to go in the cabinet to receive the door. So I'm going to select the door and the cabinet. I'm going to use the align feature to center it, bring it to the front. Can see now the door fit flush inside the cabinet. And what I'm going to do is actually deconstruct this door in group. I'm going to delete all the pieces that I don't need. So everything but those little divots. These are going to become the holes that the door fits into. So make it a hole. And I'm just going to pull it up until it's flush with the cabinet. Okay, and then I'm going to select it and group it. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And because I, oops, I put down first, because I positioned them by fitting the door exactly in here. I know that that's the way the door is going to fit when it prints and I pop it in. So, we have it. Now, this piece I'll print laying on its back so it doesn't need any support. And I use ironing to get this all nice and smooth. And then I'll print the door separately also laying on its back. And it doesn't ever need any support either. And then when I physically have the two pieces in my hand, I will stick one little knob in here and you end up having to pop it in. Once it's in, it's in. And then the drawer pivots on these little nodules. Occasionally, I can't quite get it in. And if that's the case, then your little nodules might be too high. They need to be just enough so that they pop into the holes, but not so much that you can't push them in without damaging the cabinet. Hopefully that is helpful.
Um, if you want to see a video with more detail about building the cabinet or making the drawer, leave a comment and I'll try to make some time to do that. But for now, I think the door was what was I was being asked about the most. All right, guys, thanks for watching.